Hello everyone, my name is Shanae Jones and this is KNKY, which stands for Know the New Kinky You. I am your resident certified sex coach and this is the last part, part four, of a series where we are holiday themed in the end of 2019. So, we have talked about coaching and holidays and, you know, making resolutions and getting sexy Christmas presents and all of that. And so, as we cross into 2020, you know, our first romantic holiday is Valentine's Day. So, I want to give you enough time to, to plan for that one. So, Christmas, I only gave you a few weeks. So, New Year's, maybe a week or so more. Christmas, you have time to rock it, right? So, when it, and this will be interesting. So, when it comes to Valentine's Day, I have a particular friend that I think about. And I consider him anti-Saint Valentine. And it took me a long time, but now I think I understand his logic. Right? No, I, I do. I understand his logic. Now, I agree that Valentine's Day is a commercial holiday. It serves no greater purpose other than to have people spend money and other people to make money. It's not a legal holiday, so we don't have the benefit of getting off work. It's not a religious holiday honoring any spiritual guide. So why do we, especially women, put so much emphasis on this holiday. This holiday was invented so that women can brag about who and what they have. And it's always better when there's an audience. So women love to show off their relationships. So, you know, and men get extra brownie points when they go above and beyond on Valentine's Day. So, you know, we're talking the flowers and the candy and the dinner and especially, let's go flowers, ladies. If you get a big ass bouquet of flowers delivered to your job, you're literally about to melt, right? So there are these gross displays of affection that we really, really gravitate to, and we 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 thrive in this attention that we get and that we see other people seeing that we get. So you know, it's a it's a vicious cycle. So. The idea of the flowers and the candy and the dinner is all to really just get you to bed and have sex and woohoo, yay, I accomplished my mission. Now, as I discussed with you, anti-Saint Valentine, my friend, he believes that Valentine's Day is meant for those men who don't step up with catered affection throughout the year. That means that they either only wait until Valentine's Day to show our affection or they mainly do it on holidays, you know, birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, you know, you, you knock the, the big ones off the list and you've covered your boxes for gift requirements for the year. Anti-St. Valentine openly protests this holiday. holiday. Um, he feels that if he regularly shows appreciation throughout the year on a just because basis then there should be no obligation on his part just to show everyone else that he cares about you on a designated day my argument of course to him was well why can't you show me affection and not me his wife his your wife affection throughout the year and on valentine's day so his counterpoint was that Due to commercialism, commercialism, the prices of all of these normal everyday items that you can get 364 other days of the year go up exponentially and actually devalues it as a gift. And so the flowers that he would have brought his wife home, you know, a month or so earlier that are still going to die in two weeks cost three times as much on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day. Restaurants up their prices because you're out and you're trying to impress and they know you will pay those prices. So they up them. And don't get me wrong, this is not, the point of this is not to dissuade you from participating in Valentine's Day. If you do great, the point is to remind you that Valentine's Day 
doesn't have to be once a year. If we go through extra effort on this one day and hope that, you know, it makes people happy and, you know, makes them feel good and the goal is ultimately to have sex with them, why not do that same thing on a random Tuesday? You know, we've talked about love languages before and there are some people who really honor receiving gifts as their primary language, love language. But honestly, like who doesn't like receiving gifts? You know, especially when they are random and thoughtful. Showing your partner that you appreciate their worth on a consistent basis is the ultimate Valentine's Day gift. If you do decide to celebrate on Valentine's, try to make it about spending time with each other. Spend a day flirting and building a, a mood of arousal outside of the bedroom. Keep that thought of sex and sexuality at the forefront of your mind so that they know that, oh my gosh, when I see them, they want me and I want them. And, you know, you have that anticipation building about spending time with each other and being intimate with one another. You know, you're, you're working on that. You're, you're matriculating that throughout the day. And, you know, if you want to do flowers, you know, you can... buy them and sprinkle the petals, you know, along a path either to the bedroom or whatever is your favorite place to fuck in the house or wherever. It could lead to the car or the truck, wherever it leads. Use the petals in that way. Make them useful and not just sitting there. Um, you can also use the petals to, you know, do a, a, a nice soft touch across the skin while you're perhaps giving a sensual massage or getting a sensual massage. You know, if you want to drink the champagne, drink the champagne, but try to drink of it, drink it off of each other or, you know, take a sip and, and kiss and feel the bubbles, share the bubbles while you're kissing so that that champagne, you know, intoxicates you both from, you know, more than just the alcohol. Um, instead of eating dinner, you know, you can find some foods to feed each other or eat off of each other or lick off of each other. So, you know, there are, the whole thing is that that day is meant to afford you an opportunity to express your your love physically what better gift to bring your lover than this valentine's where you are bringing them to the the heights of passion because you've committed all of this energy into this day into the attention for them and not just into spending money on commercial gifts although people still like getting commercial gifts you can do both so when you finish with this gift and this love making session and all of this time and build an anticipation try to make a commitment that you won't wait another 364 days to say happy valentine's day it doesn't have to, to be February 14th. You can make it whatever day or days you want it to be. So, before I go, I do have a, what I consider a fun fact. Now, there is a more graphic and horrific reason as to why the heart is the symbol of Valentine's Day. But the one that I like to go with is the fact that the heart looks like an upside down woman's butt imagine or go look at a woman's butt upside down and tell me what you think so this is the last of the holiday series not the last of the videos for 2019 but this is the last of the holiday series so I just want to remind everyone that regardless of the holiday if you have the opportunity to share it with someone make sure that they know how much they mean to you how important they are to you oftentimes we take people for granted and we take actually people and moments for granted and it's not until those people and moments are gone that we learn to appreciate what it is that we had and life in retrospect isn't one that we can live over but it is one that can help us be better people in the future so happy holidays to you guys uh, I will do my best to rerun these videos especially when we get closer to New Year's and Valentine's Day just to spark that reminder 
uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, share. You can find me across all social media at D-O-Y-O-U-K-N-K-Y. I am Shanae Jones, your resident certified sex coach. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one.